constituency empowerment and wealth creation and has been impact on the life of the people. So what will you advise other honorable members across Nigeria so they can copy from your experience and what you've done for the constituency? Well, the truth must be told. Um, honorable Prince Rotimi Agunso, representing Kuchofe Federal Constituency of Lagos, uh, our primary role in governance is to make laws laws that are people oriented uh, we are not in the executive we do not get monthly allocation to do anything we are simply in the legislature and what do i do i represent my people in the chambers there i am the voice by the special grace of god and by the power of my constituents. I represent them, I give them solid, good representation. And now, here we find ourselves. The, the economy of the world is in shambles, not only peculiar to Nigeria. So what do we do? We have to run here and there to see what we can do for our people to ensure they are living well. And that is, the reason I am doing what I am doing since I got into office in 2015, here we are. My men, I mean, my other colleagues in the house, they are doing the same. They are running here and there as well. But you know, fingers are not equal. I will do what I can do, and they will do what they can do to complement the effort of the executive. It's not been easy, I won't lie. It is not been easy at all. But we will try our best and we'll continue to do our best to ensure our people are comfortable, they are happy, even if we can't get them all they want, we'll still try to make them comfortable. That is exactly yeah, what we are doing. 2015 and 19, and they're about now. Uh, you are one of the high-rated uh, honorable members that have made a packet our bill specifically to touch the life of the constituents and it has been confirmed by constituents for development in this city, NGO and other media houses. What is the brain behind all this? Because people always see you vibrant and advocating for the good governance inside the chamber. That tells you the reason why I am in politics. I did not just, you know, come into politics for the fun of it. I am in politics to see how I can contribute my quota to the development of my nation. You see, the, 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 the road to where I am, or I will tell you it's not by sudden flight. I didn't get here just like that. There were, you know, uh, troubles here and there. Uh, <laughs> it's not been easy, but with dedication, with determination, I am where I am. Because I believe that I must serve humanity. And knowing full well that service to humanity is service to God. So I'm trying all my possible best to ensure that I serve humanity with the fear of God in me. That is exactly what I'm doing. Because what I went through when growing up, I wouldn't want even my enemies to go through it. We are referring to the students of now as the leaders of tomorrow. Meanwhile, General Gowon became the head of state of this country at the age of 29. If you move around, those who are 50, they are still referring to themselves as youth. So I wonder how we are going to do this. We keep referring to those who are 40 years that they are the leaders of tomorrow. When will they be the leaders of today and that of tomorrow? That is the question. What you need to do is to ensure that you serve well wherever you are. If you don't listen to what is going on in the chambers, how do you contribute? If you don't go to the chambers, what would you tell your constituents that you are doing? 
if they are asking questions, what answers would you give them? So that is the reason I always ensure that I attend every sitting in the National Assembly. I mean, when we are talking about House of Reps, I always attend sittings, listen to them, make my contributions, move motions, sponsor, build, and all that. That's the reason. Because I believe in the people that sent me there. Thank you. I love Niger.